Yo, paranormal peeps, what's happening? Richard Oliver. Right. I'm going to tell you about the Council of Twelve. Now, if you've been following the channel, you will have seen videos on the Council of Twelve. When I started this, I went to a church to learn about meditation and to learn about my own ability because I was seeing spirit and it was happening to me all the time in security, uh, in my private life, if you're wondering what that sound is, it's cows. Um, now I had not a clue, not a jar of clue that I would be talking to beings from another world of any shape, size or form. But the first time I ever meditated, I met them and, well, I met a being and then I had meditations went on for about a year and I kept having things happening to me. And if you want to know more about that, you can see my story on the channel. But I met this divine council, this council of 12. And we had conversations about the world, what it means to love, what it means to hate, what it's like being human, what it's like living in this world, yada, yada, yada. It went on and on for quite some time. Now, obviously, I had to take a bit of heed of what was going on and I couldn't find a reference to it. As much as I t tried, I couldn't, f there was no one else going through it in the church. Um, I was meeting other mediums and people and nobody seemed to have the same experience. Well, I stopped meditating and we dove into the paranormal big time, started investigating. And we met Jazzy and we started doing this thing called No Investigation Live. And the Council of Twelve come through. Now, we didn't ask for these beings. We didn't prompt them. We didn't, you know, it wasn't our contact. It was their contact to us. Same thing with the meditation. You know, I didn't prompt them. I was just learning about what was going on with me and why I was seeing spirit and stuff. Now, there's lots of references to the Council of Twelve globally. Lots of cultures. In the Bible, they call the Divine Council which the gist of it is they were beings, you can look it up yourself in the Bible, they were beings who were appointed by God to watch over the humanity because he couldn't do it on his own. Now, the reasons being is if God appeared and came down and started doing things, we wouldn't get much done, right? That's the reality of it. That's the nature of us. So... Makes sense to me, right? Didn't really question it. The reason why he had this these beings who were looking for spirituality and trying to guide humanity. But these beings, it's very difficult. It will be open to interpretation through the ghost box sessions. You will hear some profound stuff and some of the things they have said, parapeeps, are profound. They are unbelievably profound and spiritual and wise. Now, <coughs> believe, somehow we believe, or this is what the gist of it I got through meditation, is that these beings are trying to protect our spirituality, our spirit the life force of us. And there is some sort of cosmic battle, reality battle between beings for the rights to us, because we are very primitive, just as there is a spiritual battle between good and evil, and the best of us and the worst of us. Now, 
I don't want to go. We keep doing it on the channel. I keep bringing it up, but this world, this world is crazy, guys. And I mean, in reality, now based on not what I've just described to you about some sort of divine galactic space council of pe of beings, right? Take that out of the equation. I'm not about the world. I'm not about the world you live in. It is, without question, absolutely balmy, right? Only for the simple fact of the things that we just allow to happen to us, okay? Now, we've got a guest coming on, hopefully, if this video goes out before the no debate you will see that uh, a gentleman is going to come on the show, Gary Jones, and he's going to present evidence that I have captured of, I don't know, believed a UFO, right? That's what I believed. And the Council of Twelve said this would happen in their own sort of way, and it happened. And I captured it, and I filmed it, and it's been looked at by independent people, and it is something. It'll be proved. And if you follow our story, I, with all my might, I wish I could find the words and the, the right words to make you believe what I'm telling you is true, right? I wish I could. I wish I had them words, and I can't. But if you follow our story, and if you see how we have treated the paranormal, how we've investigated it, approached it, and lived our lives, you might find a little bit more that this story I'm telling you about this Council of Twelve is true. And that it's needed. Because do you think, if you're watching this, do you think that we could possibly make a better world on our own in light of everything that's just gone down i mean this is 2020 guys it's the gift that keeps on giving and i'm trying to give you the heads up on this council because it's part of our story and it's not just coming to us it's coming to lots of people in different forms for a reason and I can't tell you that I can prove that there is this Council of Twelve. I can't. You can see evidence to show more to the fact that it's true. But it is what it is. And this Council, have, they contacted me and they were testing me. And they told me they tested others. Because they're looking for the connection between the physical and the spiritual this like a synchronicity and they are they've given us messages about the future about world events uh personal things um they're also somehow communicating with spirit obviously because they have this connection to the world of spirit through God and uh, sort of other dimensional devices or div divinity, if you like. Obviously, they communicate, they were, they were communicating to me through my own mind, through meditation. And they communicate into us through the ITC equipment. They manipulated that. And it is, I've got to tell you, it's been a journey. But the more it goes on and the more this world just sort of trundles on into madness, the more that reality seems real. The more the Council of the Twelve seem real. And the more it's driving us to, to find the answers they've given us, to to, to look at the world through their eyes and to see our potential and it is 
extraordinary and that's all i can tell you and i know jazz is going to put a film up and he's going to put a sort of like a, a bit together for you guys to have a listen to what the things that's, that's been said and you know but uh, jazz's viewpoint on it as well and um yeah that's it guys that's the council of 12 they are they're in history and somehow for whatever we but i just explained the reasons they've, they've contacted us and just asked us to tell you that they're there and to have a little bit of faith on it that things they're trying and they're trying to help us because we need to help ourselves that's the that's the absolute unequivocal truth guys we have to help ourselves we can't have anyone come down we can't have god come down and do it we can't have anyone we can't have this council of the 12 come down and fix everything for us we've got to do it for ourselves otherwise anytime anything goes wrong what, what are you going to do what are you going to look at you're going to fix it yourself you're going to be come on you sorted this out sort this out and that's i know it sounds like a cop out but it's the truth you can't look at it any other way if you if, you, if you're into the paranormal and you're into an alternative view of the world we live in and you've seen things and they've what you're seeing is not making sense and an alternative is then you're on that path to where they want this to be so yeah that's it basically i think we've covered it all in a nutshell it comes to the 12 they are well, they say in history, it's exactly the same things they're saying. The divine beings who are trying to help humanity in any way, shape or form they can. And it is, from what I've gathered, mostly a feeling of love. So, yeah, give it a look, guys. Um, keep an eye out, Wednesdays, 8 o'clock. Got an interesting one coming up this Wednesday. Um, in the 8 o'clock UK time obviously um, check it out and have a look and let us know what you think love and light power peeps love and light